Good morning, Britain. A drug hailed as the beginning of the end for Alzheimer's is set to be approved for use in the UK. Lecanemab's the first treatment found to slow down the disease, which affects nearly a million people in Britain. A decision will now be taken on whether to offer it on the NHS. Police in Bradford arrest a man on suspicion of murder after a house fire kills three children aged between 22 months and nine years, along with their mother. Taylor Swift breaks her silence on the Austrian terror plot. She says gave her a new sense of fear, thanking British authorities who made sure her sellout London dates went ahead. And out on the red carpet in London last night, Idris Elba tells Good Morning Britain what he's really in the world of acting for. Well, if I could leave any sort of legacy, it's to uh, leave something that people can, you know, make their own films, tell their own stories. And weather-wise, it's a little disconcerting, considering we're still in summer, that some of us are waking up to wind and rain warnings. Having said that, the weekend is around the corner. Will it improve? Join me later on Good Morning Britain. Thursday, 22nd of August, 2024. Live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Charlotte Hawkins and Adil Ray. Hello there. Very good morning to you. It's just gone six o'clock. Do you know what? I'm welcome I'm back. back. Thank you. I'm, I'm back, I'm everyone. Back. You know what? I'm back. <laughs> it feels Where a bit strange after two weeks of not off? having the early alarm call go wow. off. And it's of the longest amount I've had off, I think, for a very long time. So wow. I'm used to having sleep. So it was a bit of a shock to the Where, system. What, this what have you been doing for two weeks? I've been doing all sorts of L water sports, actually sailing, kayaking, paddle boarding. A little okay. bit of water skiing. Okay. It's been great fun, yeah. Family water sports right. holiday we went on. Right, oh, lovely. Oh, that was me on a kayak. Oh, very nice. Yeah. We didn't actually take that many photos, but that was one of the... Uh... One of the action shots. So I can where, highly recommend where it. Where did you actually go for your? We you, went you know to, to say? we okay. went to Greece and nice. then we went to the Isle of Wight. So it was a, oh. a holiday of two halves. You had, you've had two holidays. Yeah, I kind of did two. Honestly, I know. Oh, I just sort of squeezed it all into <laughs> to one. But I saw dolphins off the Isle of Wight, oh, really? which was just so special. Uh, it was, was an a, absolute highlight. There was a. There, there we go. There we go. That's my little video of seeing the dolphins. And it oh, was such wow. a magical thing. So, you, you know, you, you sort of talk about going away to all these exotic locations for holiday, but that was just off the there, Isle of Wight, seeing dolphins. There has been a dolphin spotted in the Thames recently. Did you know that? There we go. Yeah, you go. Uh, around my friend of mine, she lives in Putney. If anyone knows in London, they, there was a dolphin in the, in the, in the river there. I, I can't slightly worry about that, though. Maybe it's got a bit lost. Yeah, I, would, I think it probably has got yes. a little bit lost, yeah. And now, do you, do you remember what you're doing? I know, I'm doing? sort of getting to grips. Yeah. Uh, I could log into the computer, so that's right. a tick so far, because there's uh, been a lot going on news-wise, hasn't there? We're there, waking up to good news this morning.